I'm hanging out at the frog pond today. These frogs have been here a little while, so hopefully they'll hold their pose. Okay, watercolor and tubes. Scarlet pearl, yellow ochre, titanium white, cad yellow light, permanent green light, and cobalt teal. This is watercolor paper primed with a very thin layer of casein. Now this frog is sitting on his lily pad. He doesn't move or blink for a whole hour while I paint him. And I wonder if he perceives the world the same way I do. I have a hunch that he doesn't share a human sort of vision or a human-like sense of time or space. For one thing, since his eyes don't make those quick, sudden movements, he's fixed to his position and has to go from absolute stillness to rapid movement when he attacks or escapes. His friends, there are about five others, they must have also accepted me because they've gone back to their normal business, which is waiting and occasionally croaking. He must be tuned in to the movements of the insects around him. I didn't catch it on film, but one of the other frogs took a huge flying leap to catch some kind of bug over on the shore. Next up, I want to paint those ripples in the water on the near side of the lily pad. I start by laying down a thin layer of cool colors for the reflection of the sky, and then come in with some dark colors for the dark, loopy reflections. It's impossible to fully freeze this motion in my eyes because my perception isn't fast enough. I'm also, like the frog, I'm trapped in my own limited bubble of awareness. What Jakob von Uxkul called Umwelt. The idea is that each person and each organism is on its own little lily pad of perception. Because of that, we can't ever really fully understand animals in any objective sense because we can only see them in human terms. I like the way the American naturalist Henry Beston expressed the mystery of our relationship with animals. For the animal shall not be measured by man. In a world older and more complete than ours, they move finished and complete, gifted with the extension of the senses we have lost or never attained living by voices we shall never hear. They are not brethren, they are not underlings. They are other nations, caught with ourselves in the net of life and time, fellow prisoners of the splendor and travail of the earth. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.